Commander, Mech Bad Zappa and his orcs are set to overrun Argus, the planetary capital. If they do so, all of Calderas will fall. I have set up a defense at the city gates, but the Initiates and Space Marines there need your support. Thing. What? You kids can't do anything right! I'll have to fix it myself! The enemy is attacking. The fight. Eliminate those orcs! You mean the escape shooting! That piece of rock has all my main backside! The orc leader is getting away! Squad repositioning. Destination confirmed. Our weapons are ready. Pursue and eliminate him. Tactical squad repositioning. Devastator Marine, ready for combat. Brothers, we go. Assault squad is ready to Assault deploy. Assault squad repositioning. Box open, go ahead. Tactical squad repositioning. Our weapons are ready. Adjust your positions. This is Thaddeus. Relocating. Remain vigilant. And save your camp now, you kids! Thank <laughs> you. 
melee positions and they will drop in to bolster your defense. Thaddeus, assault squad repositioning. This is Avatus. Brothers. a mess of all be planned! I don't appreciate that!
much too big and old to be in an orc like me. Fool to all Blood Ravens. Prepare for emergency extraction to the Armageddon. We are facing far more than orcs or Eldar. Commander, Captain Thule needs your aid. Deploy to his position immediately. Make ready, brothers. Reposition. Reposition. The enemy is here, Commander. Things. A foe far deadlier than orcs or Eldar Thaddeus. Thunderhawk 
one, emergency extraction at relay coordinates. Thunderhawks three and four, follow with bombing run, purification spread. face our darkest hour. Captain Thule has fallen to aliens who have escaped retribution. A massive hive fleet looms over our recruiting worlds. But this battle is not over. Get Captain Thule to the Apothecary! Hurry! Calm yourself, Thaddeus. Gordian is already at work. Commander, I am Apothecary Gordian, Chief of Geno Medicine aboard the Armageddon. Captain Thule still lives, but he is in grave condition. Many of his vital organs and implants were destroyed, and an alien poison is attacking surviving tissues. I have placed Captain Thule in stasis to halt the poison's progress. But as of now, I have no means to counteract its effects. Gordian had better prepare himself for more of us to require his tending. You fear the aliens, Cyrus? I know no fear, Avatus. But I am no fool. Those were Tyranids. Alien monsters who strip worlds of all life. There are billions of them, and only a handful of us. Have you faced these things before, Cyrus? Once, a long time ago, when I served in the Death Watch. We are going to need all the help we can get to face this infestation. Even then, we will probably fail. Commander, with your permission, I will attempt to raise the nearest of our chapter fleets. This may take some time, however. In the meantime, we need to secure Typhon before the rest of the Tyranid Swarm arrives. Otherwise, our supply lines will be devastated. There is an Eldar raiding party that continues to wreak havoc on our defenses on Typhon. We should return to Typhon and eliminate those Eldar. Commander, with your permission, I will attempt to raise the nearest of our... Commander. Eldar warriors have deployed to defend the target, Commander. They hope to cover his escape, no doubt. This we cannot allow. At your command. Repositioning. Enemy troops. Avatus. Adjust your positions. Command. 
Destination confirmed. Acknowledged. Build our target spot. You humans always make a mess of things. No one but the boss here chose the orcs as our instruments instead of you. Servitus. How can we serve? Finish. Target spotted. Formation, brothers. Go. Assault squad. Ready this to deploy. Is
Dalinar know the Tyranids are coming. That explains their actions among the Orcs. What do the Tyranids have to do with Eldar helping Orcs? A full-fledged Orc uprising could actually slow the Tyranids, Thaddeus. If the Eldar were not doing this on our own recruiting worlds, we could use the situation to our advantage. Using Orcs and Eldar to stop an enemy? Why would we waste our time with that? We are Space Marines. We fear nothing, because we are Fear Incarnate. We may be Fear Incarnate, Avatus, but we face an enemy that knows no fear. We will need every advantage we can get if we want to save the Sector. This victory will long be remembered in the Halls of Glory. So the Eldar were uniting the Orcs to slow down the Tyranids? Yes. Nemerian clearly knew of the Tyranids. This explains much, but we have been getting reports of other Eldar activity in the Sector that is not related to the Orcs. Clearly the Eldar have other plans in motion, none of which can be good for us. I will keep you apprised of any further developments, Commander. What can you tell us about the Tyranids, Cyrus? The Tyranids are unlike any other threat we have faced, Targus. Orcs may operate in vast hordes, but they still have individual chieftains that unite them. Kill these chieftains, and the Orc horde is weakened and scattered. A Tyranid hive fleet, however, is a single massive organism. Every creature in the swarm is simply one part of a single terrifying mind. We cannot break the Tyranids' morale, or take advantage of their pride. We cannot make them see reason. And for every beast we kill, a million more are ready to take its place. But what do they want? The Hive devours entire worlds. Its goal is to feed itself and grow. And it will not stop until the entire galaxy is consumed. Commander, the Orcs continue to undermine our defenses on Calderas. We need to shore up these defenses if we are to have any hope of stopping the Tyranids. Commander, the Orcs can... A message is coming in from Chapter Command. Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos aboard the Battle Barge Litany of Fury. I have received word of the Tyranid threat facing Subsector Aurelia and of Captain Thule's grave condition. The Tyranids are a threat of unimaginable proportions, Commander. They are endless in number and intent on consuming whole worlds. The Litany of Fury is now making for Aurelia at all speed, but we are weeks away. I will relay all distress signals back to you while we devise a plan of attack. Commander. Target the larger creatures to disrupt the swarm. That will buy us the time to get to our target. Captain Thule will have his vengeance. Prepare for combat. Squad. 
spot. Formation, brothers. Targets. This way, brothers. That's a shrine to the Emperor. Just eliminate them and retake the shrine. Commander, the choice is yours. But this will cost us time.
Assault squad is ready to de relocating. Ready for orders. Jump to that position! Devastated. stand secure. Holding it will make us stronger in battle. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. This is Habitus. Adjust your positions. How can we serve? Reposition. Ready for orders. Assault squad repositioning. Brothers, we go. There is the beast. Destroy it.
plasma. Clear that area. Apothecary Gordian has dispatched servitors to collect and analyze the warrior's corpse. Our librarians have also consulted the more complete records aboard the Litany of Fury. With this information, we have devised a plan of attack against the High Fleet. Victory is but a prelude. Tyranids have a simple and terrible agenda, Commander. Left unchecked, they will kill and consume every living thing on the planet. Our only hope of stopping the Tyranids is to strike at the heart of the Hive Fleet itself. For us to do this, you must first accomplish three critical tasks. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. Only its precise scans will allow us to analyze the Hive Fleet and locate its weaknesses. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Only a pure gene sample will allow us to develop a poison to strike at the Hive Fleet. And you must secure access to Angel Forge on planet Meridian. Only this ancient forge's vast manufacturing capabilities will allow us to produce weapons with which to deliver our poison. Each of these tasks pits your handful against untold billions. But failure means the utter annihilation of our worlds. And a death sentence for our chapter. Commander. We need to take direct control of Angel Forge. I'm authorizing you to travel to Meridian. The planetary governor has been less than cooperative thus far, so be prepared for bureaucratic resistance. Angelos out.
Commander, the em Meridian stands at the very heart of Subsector Aurelia. Billions call its cities home. Its factories and forges are keys to victory against the Tyranids. We must not allow Meridian to fall. Commander, welcome to Meridian Orbit. My name is Elena de Rosa. Governor Vandis has assigned me to be your liaison while in system. This is not the hinterlands of Calderas or Typhon, Commander, so a certain amount of discretion would be appreciated. It is imperative that we secure access to Angel Forge, Administrator de Rosa. Yes, so your Captain Angelos has said. Angel Forge is the most important manufacturing facility in the sector, however. Its use follows a strict schedule set by Governor Vandis and his Privy Council years in advance. Nevertheless, there may be a way to arrange special access to Angel Forge. Meridian has recently come under repeated attack from Eldar Raiders. They have already inflicted substantial damage to parts of our communication and supply infrastructure. The Imperial Guard forces stationed on Meridian are already tied down, suppressing food riots in the lower city. They do not have the manpower to deal with the Eldar as well. Were you to employ your special expertise in such matters and repel these raids, Governor Vandis believes he could arrange limited access to Angel Forge. Eldar sightings will be transmitted to your planetary display. DeRosa out. Commander, I left Meridian decades ago, but this is typical behavior. The nobility has always closed its eyes to problems in the Undercity. The Eldar must have raided wealthy spires for the noble houses to even acknowledge a problem. They will acknowledge it when the sky darkens with Tyranid spores and hive ships. On that subject, Commander, initial scans indicate no Tyranid activity whatsoever on Meridian. No activity at all. No mutated plants or slaughtered wildlife. No atmosphere or changes. None that we can detect. Check your sensors again, Martellus. Hive fleets do not ignore worlds in their paths.